All right, hey, I wanted to cover uh, a little bit of my hydroponic system and some other stuff. I gotta try to figure out what I want to try here, but um, anyway, this all strawberries up here and lettuce down here is all right now, it's pretty much hydroponics. But uh, as you can see, the lettuce is doing real good. Of course, this is a, a new uh, transplant, you know, when the plants start getting older, it's the youth you got to bring in. But, Strawberries are just doing okay, so I really need to uh, separate them. But the trick with uh, using organic stuff is it doesn't conduct uh, electrical uh, conductivity like uh, synthetic fertilizer does, so it's hard to get a uh, EC reading on it. I do got a more complicated reader coming, but I don't know how good it's going to help me. But um, anyway, what I got going on now is I had some tomatoes over here. And they weren't doing real well. They're like the heaviest feeder, so I took those out. And I still got some broccoli in the test bed and some bell peppers. They're doing okay, but you know. And uh, what I'm going to try to do is this system here. It's uh, I put this here. I'm going to wind up making this an actual worm bed. This table used to be. This is actually made to be an Edmund flow, and it's more a flood table. The water doesn't get real deep in here. But I'm going to actually make a uh, worm bed out of this and see how well this feeds this system. And this will make it what you call um, vermiponics because you're using earthworms. But then I may take this over here and then take this tank and put fish in it and it will make the bottom of aquaponics. Now I'm going to have a time in two different systems here but this will be is the tank that drains off the lettuce and the one over here that everything's draining to right now that'll be where the uh, strawberries drains in and this table over here it's just uh, uh, lettuce is a, you know, a lot less uh, feeding plant than like strawberries and all that so I'm gonna give it a spin and see what happens but I don't really study this kind of stuff too good, so I've been known to uh, mess up quite a few times, so it's going to be interesting to try it, but I'd rather experiment. It keeps me from being bored, and I don't recommend just anybody just try it, because if you uh, do something too bad, like all these strawberries up here, I don't want to, uh, want to really kill 48 plants, but I'll still keep them monitored, but they're, they're doing okay. But, um, I do got some runners over here and I got some other strawberries growing but if something happens I do have these right here to <laughs> kind of make a comeback but it's gonna be interesting to see where this goes and I'm gonna post updates on it and hopefully I don't get too boring but anyway that's it for now